Hello people, let me show you how to do a 3D printed smile, a set of 3D printed veneers for Camila in the best 3D printed veneer class. This is the initial situation of our patient. It's a girl with a genesis of the lateral incisors. Okay, and we go to solve the problem with 3D printed veneers, okay? Pay attention. The first step in the process of the 3D printed veneers is scan the mold of your patient, scan the teeth. You need to use an uh, intraoral scanner, you need to buy one, the price is over $10,000, or you can rent one, okay, in the big cities, or the dental labs can rent or give you the scanner, okay? So you take a scanner of your patient, not of your patient. What you do with the scanner? With the scanner, you can decide the veneer. The next step is design the restoration, okay? For design the restoration, you need a software. The most used is the ExoCAD software but are other options for you. Sometimes I do my own design, but the most of the time I use a third party service, online based service for do the design of my restoration. I send the files to a designer, pay him for design my veneers or my, or my great chest, and he sent me the design to print. Okay, and every day appear new AI based web design for do 3D printed or any dental design for your patients. Now I have the design of my restoration, but I need to print this restoration. I need to to build the supports for the veneers or for the restoration. For this, I need a slice software. This is the name of the software. The most widely used is the Cheetobox software. It's a free software that you need to use to build a support for your veneers or for your bridge or for your crowns, okay? This is an essential step. You need to do this step. You take the design of your restoration and you build a support, a base to print, okay? I do in Cheeto box. After design the supports, you are ready to print. You have, you need to use now your printer, your 3D printer. You have different options in the market. You have the uh, printer for, especially designed for dentists, like the spring ray, for example, that is very expensive. Or you can you can use a printer designed for the general population for general purpose. Okay, for example, the Lego or are another brands. But good are good options, okay? If you buy one a spring ray, you need to pay ten thousand dollars maybe. Or if you use one printer for general populations. You, your printer, the price of your printer is $300, okay? In my class, I teach you how to do, how to start to do your impressions with a $300 printer, okay? And you are ready to, to print, you just put the file in your printer and print, okay? Just, you need to use a resin a biocompatible resin, a special resin for use in the mouth, okay? Are special resins, biocompatible resins, okay? And you select the color that you want for your restoration, okay? And just put the file in your printer, put the resin in the tank of your printer, put to print, and you wait until the printer is ready. After print or veneers, we need to put them 
in an ultrasonic washing machine in order to remove the remains of resin over the printed pieces. After the ultrasonic cleaning process, we need to do a photo curing process over the printed veneers in order to obtain better mechanical properties. After the photo curing, we need to remove the veneers from the supports. We use a cutter for do this. Now we are ready to bond our 3D printed veneers over our patient teeth. First, we do a uh, sandblasting of the inner surface of our veneer and we put bonding and air for uh, spread the bonding over the inner surface of our veneers. Now we start to do the acid etching of the teeth with phosphoric acid. After applying the phosphoric acid for 30 seconds, we wash and dry very well. After wash and dry, we put the bonding over the surface of the etched teeth. Now we put photo curing resin semen over the inner surface of our veneers. We put the veneers in place. We remove the excess of resin. And when you have the the veneers in place, you use your photo curing lamp to harder the veneer, the veneer cement, the photo curing resin cement.
You continue the process of bonding the veneer with photocuring composite cement or can use to normal composite heated in some way. It's important to remove all the excess around the gum before put the curing light. In this way you save time. The process of bond 3D printed veneers is very similar to the process to bond porcelain veneers with the difference that you don't need to use fluoridric acid. You use only sandblasting and bonding in the inner surface or the veneer. We repeat the process with all the veneers. And remember, if you wanna take my class, I teach you to do 3D printed veneers in your own office with a $400 printer in an easy way, in a way that you can do your veneers in your own office without pay lab in just one day. After bond your veneers, you can do correction in the mouth. One of the advantages of the 3D printed veneers is that you can do corrections 
over the veneers after be bonded and you can for example if you want you can do corrections with composite too just need to put bonding at the composite and do the finishing process similar to the process of finishing the the composite veneers in the same way because the 3d printed resin is compatible with the composite you check your patient and check if the smile look good and you do the the adjustment that you need to do for make that your veneers look nice I remember one of the great advantage of the 3D printed veneers is that you can do correction directly in the mode over the veneers of your patient with composite and finish in the same way that you finish a composite veneer. For finishing and polishing your 3D printed veneers, you can use the same system that you use for finishing and polishing your composite veneers. In this situation, we use a glaze for give the, the final shine to the veneers. We finish our set of 3D printed veneers, okay? Look this beautiful smile. And remember, you wanna learn to do 3D printed veneers? Come here and take my class, goodbye.